Hello, it's Nancy here. I'll show you a quick and easy text effect to create this text reflection in PhotoP. So let's go. Go to the Type tool and then choose a font. I'm going to go with this one called Dopia 1 and increase the size. Type your text. I'm going to type Reflection. I'll increase the size again. Make sure you're on the Type tool. Double click the text. Then choose a colour for it by clicking on the colour swatch up here. I'm going to go with this default blue colour. Click the tick to confirm the changes. This reflective text will show up really well on a black background. So go to Layer, New, Fill Layer and choose Colour Fill. Select black and the layer is filled. In the Layers panel, drag the Colour Fill layer so that it's below the text. Let me just use the Move tool to reposition it more in the middle and make it even larger. Now let's make a copy of the text layer. You can either right click on the text layer and then duplicate it, or you can press Ctrl plus J if you're on a PC, or Command plus J if you're on a Mac. Next, press Ctrl plus T. At the moment, we're on the copied layer, so right click on it and select Flip Vertical. Then you want to move it down until there's a very small gap. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to have greater control. If you want to close the gap up a bit more, you can select the transform controls and move it up a bit. So about here is good. So now you can see there's a gap between the two texts. The next step is then to lower the opacity on the text at the bottom. So let's go to the Opacity slider. About 50% looks quite good to me. Then we'll put a slight blur on it. Go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Click OK when PhotoP says the text layer must be rasterized. I'll put it to about 2.7 pixels, but you can choose what looks good for you. Next, to make this look even more realistic, we'll erase some of the lettering at the bottom. Select the Eraser tool, set the hardness to 0% and let's just increase the size a bit. Now use it to just erase the lower portion of the text and move the eraser nice and gentle and that looks more convincing now and that's a pretty nice reflection. Well, if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.